Everton, we've had a shot. To the Brentford versus Derby County vlog. It's the last time Derby County will ever travel to Griffin Park. The ground was built in 1904, so it's a historic one. I always find it interesting how the seats above the away, well, in the away end above the standing. I always find that interesting. So it's a shame that it's going, but Brentford are moving to a new ground. Uh, going to be a nice ground. I've heard it's around 17,000 capacity, the new ground as well. Brentford currently sit 19th on four points. We need a big reaction after we lost 3-0 away to Forest in the round two of the League Cup. It was an awful performance and a wrong team selection by Koku, so he definitely needs a big reaction today. Three points is definitely needed. If I was going to give a score prediction, I'd say a 3-1 today. I know that's confident and it's going to be a tough game because with both sides we're struggling for four. But I believe today we need a big reaction and Koku's going to get that from the players today. I'm seeing a Tom Lawrence goal today as well and hopefully Dwayne Holmes will be on return. So we're with Alex now outside the Griffin Pub in Brentford. What's your score prediction today? I'm going to say 2-0 Derby. I think we need a big response after the Forest game and West Brom game. They were both really poor. We really didn't show any signs of, like, you know, a good start. We wanted a good start and it's been, I'm not saying a bad start, it's been a pretty average start. You know, we haven't done anything special, but it's been really bad. I think we just need to forget about the Forest game and go at it full force today. And I'm not taking any draws, so I'll be very upset if we get a draw, but hopefully a win. So we can make all the Derby fans happy again. Come on, you round. Right, what are you going to do with Tyler Tarf now? What's your score prediction today? Well, probably a one all draw. I can't see us getting anything from this. The way we've been playing, probably we've like we're one in seven, I think, or one in five or whatever. Um, it's just not been good enough this football this year. Um, Brentford's in our place to come. Obviously, this is the last year in this ground, so you know they're not going to want to do bad in the last season. Um, and I've got, I, I'll be happy with draw. If we can get win, I'll be happy. But now nah, I think we'll get a draw from this. But whatever the result, come on the Rams, come on your Rams. made a decent save, tried to bend into the far corner but not in the corner enough, Ruse was across. Brentford having a lot of possession right now, we can't get the second balls. It's been coming, they've had a lot of possession, we've been struggling to get out of our half. Brentford, Holly Watkins runs around Ruse, Keo blocks it on the line and then he takes another shot and Lowe's trying to clear it. It's gone in, they've had a lot of possession. That's their third goal of the season scored. We've had one shot, I think, and it was dragged wide. Straight away, Brentford make it 2-0, Ollie Watkins. Where's the defence gone? 2-0 down now. 18 minutes gone. Joy. We haven't moved the ball quick enough. And we all have stunned already. The way sport's been classed though. Brentford just found themselves free at the back post. I think it was Ben Arama, but he put it over the bar. 
We learned Forrest scored twice from being at the back post. I don't know who's meant to be tracking him. Max Lowe or Waghorn out of the wing. We've got to mark the back post better. Brentford have had some good passing moves this first half. They do move the ball well and can definitely dribble with it. Ollie Watkins has looked dangerous, so has Benarama. Good God, we need to put in a bit more of a challenge and get tired to our man. The back post, if you want to say, we did well to block it on the line. But you've got to clear it. We've been trying to pass around the back four when they've got pressure on us. Just get it out. I don't think we've, we've had one shot, I think. We don't look like scoring, unfortunately. Brentford have had all the ball. Half time. Brentford 3, Derby County nil. I'd heard before the game, Brentford had only scored two. So they've pulled three past us. They've had all the ball, we haven't got out of our half. We don't look like we're going to score, unfortunately. Brentford have moved the ball well against us. We've had to block two on the line, but they've both ended up in goals. Hopefully it changes, but I just don't know. Koku doesn't seem like the manager to want to really go for it 3-0 down. I'm not. Tactically, we don't look very good at the moment. Lost our shape for their second. Tom Lawrence did well to move the ball there and run, run past a couple and lay off to Marriott. That was a, was a try to create a chance. So it did end Brentford 3, Derby County 0. A terrible performance from us. Didn't have a shot on target in the whole game, which is massively disappointing. Team didn't really show a lot of spirit after we went 1 0 down. Then obviously we conceded very quickly through a square ball across the face goal. Defence was nowhere to be seen. And that's when Ollie Watkins gets their second. Also, the two back post goals conceded once again today. Uh, you thought we would have learnt after Forest, but just overall very disappointing. One of the most frustrating points for me today is when Kieran Dow was played the ball in his direction and he was waiting for it to get to him. He wasn't running towards it when there was a Brentford player running towards it. He was waiting for it to come to him. And it was just so frustrating and just didn't show enough desire today. And I think the tactics were. What they weren't on show today at all. There was no tactics by the looks of it, and it's just massively disappointing to lose 3 0. We've got the international break now before Cardiff at home on Friday night and Sky, and then we go away to Leeds. Two very tough games, which I expect us to get nothing out of based on the performance away at Forest and the performance today. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. That would be massively appreciated, and comment your opinions about the game down below. I'll see you in the next one.